Okay guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and as promised on my blog post that I did last night, I'm going to show you up close this fireplace that we will be doing at the Made It Con in September. Now I don't have this little piece right here glued down, that's why it's going back and forth. I took it out so that I could show you how that works, but we will be doing, this is one of our classes in September, September 13th through the 15th at the Made It Con. And this class still has some availability, so make sure you go over and check it out. I'll put that link directly below. But this is a home decor fireplace. As you can see, it is about, and I'm thinking it's, let me get my ruler here. I think it is, it's two inches wide. Uh, all in all, overall, it's eight inches tall and it is about six and a quarter. It's six and a quarter wide, two deep, and about eight inches tall. And it does have lights in this little, let me move this little thing back. I had it glued down. This is just my prototype. I have used it a couple of years. So, as you can see, that glows. Let me see. Let me turn off a light and see if you can see it. Let's turn off this other light and see if it shows. There we go. You can see the flicker of the light in there. I use this on my mantle and I just put the, um, turn the lights on and then when my lights in the living room were down low, you can see all of the flickering. This is made out of paper. We're going to show you how to roll these and then decorate them up to where they look like real logs. I'm going to take that out so I can show you up close. It just keeps rolling around. So see we have a little light in there and we have some paper and glitter on there and then we made these little logs and put on there. So that sits inside and you can glue it in if you want to. Um, I have mine glued in but then I have it to where I can pick it up and then turn that little light off and on because the little off and on switch is on bottom. So I just put it in there with some dimensionals and then I can pick it up. These are just some little Tim Holtz. Christmas trees that we'll be using. We'll be using some different things. We may even use some taller trees than this. I've got some dies and things that I want us to play with. So we may have some taller trees, some wreaths, some different things. We're just going to have tons of embellishments and you can embellish it any way that you want. And then this is just a punch that we did and we were, went around the top and made that little garland with that punch and then we just cut these out of some foam and then I used our snowflake uh, little paste to put on there. Here's some more little trees that we were sent by a friend and then this is just a little chalkboard that I glued up there. We may put something different on there. I haven't been able to find a lot of these little chalkboards. If I can find them we may use that. If not we'll use something else. We'll decorate them up really pretty. Then this is just some um, burlap that I have that we'll be using and then this is usually glued to the back or under the bottom you can glue it any anywhere you, that you want mine I just glued to the back because I had mine up against the wall and nobody could see it and then this just turns the little lights off and on let's see if you can see those lights come on um not sure you can see a light in there but they are on little lights and they show up really well let's see if we can turn it up like this and you can see them there we go you see those little lights and they show up really well when it's dark and or when the room is kind of dim they show up real well so this is what we're going to be making now when I put that it could be a gift box as well if you wanted to make one of these and give it to a friend you could fill this up with some goodies because this is two inches deep and then you know pretty tall you could fill that up with goodies and then you could always still put your little light back in there so there's plenty of room for that so this is what we will be making in September in one of our classes. I'm going to put that direct link below. Tomorrow, tune in, we will be showing you another one of our classes, what we will be making in there as well. Now, there is some surprises in this class. We're going to play two different games. I'm not going to tell you what they are right now. It's going to be a surprise. But everybody is going to walk away with tons of goodies. So bring a bag because you're going to fill those bags up when you, when you leave our classes. All right, guys, we'll talk to you later. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.